Sarah. That is you up. an absolute great way to start the podcast. Hell yeah. Oh, we're I, actually going to do it? We're not canceling? I already pressed no, start. No, here. I pressed God start. Damn pre- God the, damn it. The, the first What's thing, wrong, the first thing that any, anybody's going to hear is, Tim, you sleepy son of a bitch. I think that's a great <laughs> intro. That's a fantastic that intro. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. We figured you, uh, your son, try and put him to bed. You know he has oh, two that's kids. That's exactly what happened. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, but he only falls asleep with Logan. I a hundred percent fell asleep in Logan's bed. There was no. <laughs> and your phone's dead. And so no. when we tried to call you, it went straight to your voicemail. Uh. Oh, I didn't try to call you at all. I'm not gonna lie. You are evil. That's I'm like, ah, oh, he's place. dead. He's fine. Hi. <laughs> I knew what would happen. Oh, balls, testicles, shit. Okay. Anyway, let's. Uh... <laughs> are you okay? God oh, yeah. damn it! Ian's yeah. getting get good at some Rocket League. Yeah. Oh, is that what he's playing right now? I was about to ask. What have no. we been playing, boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm well, literally playing. Well, so here's the thing. I love my father, and today's his birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, George. And um, Happy birthday, George. I left his party early so I can go play some video games because I haven't played shit this week. So nice. <laughs> here I am playing. <laughs> I'm playing Rocket League. <gasps> oh, balls. <laughs> well, are you are you are you getting good at it? Am I getting good, Tim? I've been playing for 20 minutes. I'm fucking awesome. Not really. I mean, I did a hat trick in like three games ago. I did a, I did a goddamn goal off my fucking spoiler, and it was wonderful. And I didn't save it. Justin got mad at me. Yeah. Or nice. Chloe got mad at me. One of somebody. Got no, mad at it me. was it was Everyone Justin. Justin. Justin's the one who's all about the videos. Yeah, we're all. Which very is why he still has a Halo Reach picture from fucking. The hangover. <laughs> I'm just sad I couldn't get my videos. Yeah. All right. Cody? I've been... Oh, Justin. Uh, asking Cody what he's been playing. Go suck gold stick! <laughs> I, that's not what I've been playing. It's definitely not what I've been playing. Um, no, I've still been playing Outward, but I'm thinking tonight, after we're done playing Rocket League, I think I'll start streaming a playthrough of uh, Dragon Age Origins. Oh, I want to no. play through all... I want to play through all three of those games, like, back-to-back. Like, consecutively or whatever, so... It's a before, hard game, before... Four comes out and kills the franchise. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, Inquis- Inquis- Inquisition's ten bucks right now. You already Inquis- own Inquisition on PC. Well, I'm gonna own it again. Mm. Oh, God damn it. But I don't. I don't own. I own Dragon Age One and Two on Xbox. Why so do you? Why, through, why do you have to play through all of them on Xbox? Why can't you play through? Because I don't own two on oh. PC. Yeah, but you're. I don't. I. I don't think it's. I don't think the. Like I, I don't think the the save carryover happens in any meaningful way. Oh God, no. uh, well, I just figured I'd try it. I originally played through Origins on Xbox, anyways. I mean, I did so. too. But all right, Justin. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> still yeah. trekking through Sekiro. I'm at like twenty four hours in. I've only beat one boss so far. Mm. I've only discovered one boss so far, but I've killed a lot of things, and. It's still just like I get stuck on something for a minute and then I find like five other paths to go explore. So I'm still loving that. And also I got a uh, Assassin's Creed Origins on the or Origin on the Humble Bundle. So, so, so like I've been it, playing. Yeah, I'm going to be getting that. Uh, actually, I meant to do that today. Thank you for reminding me. I got I got a new monitor today. So for ten dollars and it works and it's awesome. Yeah, you got it set up. Yeah, it. All That's I needed was sick, was dude. that extra power cord. So I got a, I got a, a twenty one and a half inch uh, AOC monitor. It's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. It works fine. I it's it doesn't have an HDMI cable, so I needed my DVI to HDMI adapter to make it work. But now that it's plugged in, it's so nice because the fucking let me ah sh- uh, no yeah let me show you guys the <laughs> shitty monitor. Yeah. Oh, Let's have a look. Doggy dick. It's not actually a monitor. It's a Dynex television, 19 inch from like. Two, it's not even like. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Whoa, black is, is, is it, black. Isn't that from when you were in college? Show you the input board for it here. It's 19 inch from college. <laughs> oh, so wow. it's it's kind of nice that it has all of the component cables and it has it's it's a legit it's a TV but yeah it's Sarah's I. 
ancient technology now. I mean, it really is, honestly. It it does. It's not even true HD. I think it's uh, I think its native resolution is fourteen forty, but it's not sixteen by nine. So that's oh, good. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah. Epic save. <laughs> I like how he was so against getting. I'm not buying soccer RC. Yeah, dude. It. Fuck soccer. Uh, and then, and now he's playing. Now he loves it. I'm not playing. Well, yeah, yeah you can't into it. Nothing. I, I haven't really been oh. playing much of anything. Uh, oh God, we're doing a show right now. I played. I played <laughs> Rocket League today. <laughs> My bad. And I've been playing a little bit of Borderlands again, but that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, oh shit, dude. Yeah, everybody's been jumping in playing the old Borderlands again. Yeah. The uh, announcement. I did the same thing Ian did, dude. Though I went straight to two. It wasn't even like yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't even know why there was no thought about it or anything. Just straight to Borderlands two. So that's hey, the right choice. I know we I said this in our chat thing, but seriously, if there's no zombie scooter DLC for Borderlands three, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm still gonna buy the game, obviously, but they need to do something with scooter. Who? Scooter. Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at. Get right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Got a pimento taco in there guess, for you. I, I guess he dies. I I'm can't assuming. believe we both just did that at the same time. Get your red. I believe it. I, it, it definitely happened. Uh, anyway, we should probably... Uh, Ian, are you, doing, are, you, are you doing the host thing? Yeah, this is basically a Star Wars episode. Yeah, I mean, we're just talking about Star Wars. Let's discuss. Hey, I literally yeah. just watched the trailer like while Tim was sleeping. For good, what? Good. Oh, first the movie. Are we talking about the movie? We're, we're talking talk about the video game. We're talking about we're the talking movie about first. All. We're gonna talk about the movie, movie first. first. Yeah. Okay. Two things. Three things. One. Lando at the helm of the fucking Millennium Falcon. Yes. Just Two, like it was always meant to be. Um. God. What was that line? Something like. <sighs> was it? Some things <laughs> never <laughs> end. And then Palpatine's laugh. Like yes. Right. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, the idea that, you know, there's that whole thing about Palpatine trying to become immortal. Yeah. So is that what we're going to see? Yeah. I hope so. Because that was definitely, like, his kind of laugh. That was oh, dude. Luke. Instant Luke Star Wars boner. Somebody. Like, my blanket got rose, man. Like, I, I one, of, one, one of two things is going on with it. Like, just the way they named the movie, though. Like, either they spoiled the... Re like okay so everybody has speculated since the first movie that ray is a skywalker right right yeah and yeah. then in uh the last one they kind of dashed dashed that idea but now it sounds like she like they called it rise of skywalker and they made it the the trailer's basically all about her so right. they're definitely oh, making it oh, why can't why like can't finn be a skywalker Our, oh, why can't yeah, finn be the skywalker yeah, he's going to be the new Blade. Why can't he be the new Skywalker? Is he for real going to be the new Blade? I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's it's rumored. Okay. There's pictures. I didn't know they were doing a new Blade. Um, Why not? I don't know. I'm <clears throat> fine with them doing a new Blade. I wish, I wish they would like have like Wesley Snipes like Blade mentor a new Blade, kind of like how like <laughs> Wesley Snipes would be the Whistler type. Oh okay, my god! Wesley, Star Wars Wesley, right as long as Chris Christopherson is still in the movie, that would be awesome. Wesley Snipes is it, is He's so old. yeah. Uh, but you know what I mean, though. Like, if they could have Wesley oh. Snipes, like old Blade, mentor a new Blade, that would be amazing. Wesley Snipes is too fucking insane to work on those movies. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the Patton Oswalt interviews about those movies. They're, they're hilarious, and hey, it, I guess hey, there's an entire man. shit show. Uh, he did but, okay in the Expendables three. He wasn't so too we've crazy. got a good point Cap in chat here from our friend Tomislav Kurjak. Yep. Kylo Ren yep. is part of the Skywalker family. He's part is of the Skywalker. He, he's part no. of the Skywalker family, but he's also a solo. He's a solo. You wouldn't yeah, call it right. Rise of Skywalker if you were talking about Ben Solo. You'd call maybe it in a little fine print. It's Rise of Skywalker and Solo. Uh, <laughs> I guess, but I I don't I don't think so. I it's possible. I mean, like, we're gonna find out, but. 
I, I don't think so. I think they they show they the little bit of Kylo they showed in the trailer hints that he went full dark side, and we'll see. Oh, I thought the opposite. I thought that showed him going light side. Oh, I didn't when they wasn't showed... he like nailing some fucking Imperial trooper with his sword? It looked yeah, it looked well, like he was like that... bringing down some stormtroopers. Okay, he killed the stormtrooper in the first movie. Yeah, but not as badass as this one. Looked. <laughs> I don't know. See, it, it wasn't like he was against them, though. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, to me, it looked different, especially what, what he was this? doing with his helmet, like with the red on the. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but it's right, possible. The helmet thing, like maybe I see what you're saying, like reforging his helmet or whatever. Yeah, He's like him trying to bring the the Darth Vader legacy back kind uh, of a thing. I thought so. Uh, and also just the way that they, they put all the red lines in it and they made it very menacing and almost Darth Maulish looking. I know that it, that I don't think that was in any way intended to bring back images of Darth Ma Maul, but that's what it did sure. for me. But, um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm excited. That I'm, new TIE fighter looked awesome. It did. I, I'm not yeah, as excited for this one as I was for The Last Jedi, um, which I think is mm -hmm. weird, but I am excited for it still because it's Star Wars. I will never not be as, I was excited about Solo, even though it was not great. I still liked it because it was a Star Wars movie. Are there any um, jet? So obviously we'll have like Luke's Force Ghost coming back and talking. Is, are there any other Jedi <laughs> that you'd really like to see come back and chat for this movie? Macho Man. No. The Force Ghost thing has always been such a throwaway gimmick for me. Uh, no, I'm sure <laughs> they'll they'll they will some way have Anakin in it. They have to. Rise! Oh my God! Maybe it'll be more than a, for a Force Ghost. Someone will come back to life. I've heard a lot Luke of speculation Skywalker that, rises that again. like I've heard a lot of speculation that somehow there's a cloned Anakin, which I think is fucking weird. Mm. I think people are just going. I thought it. Was, I thought people were joking at first, but I guess there are people that are actually serious about that yeah uh, whatever i don't think that's gonna be it but i mean i feel like it's, it's not outside the, the realm of possibility gonna be the ghost of jar jar binks <laughs> the ghost of jar jar binks ghost of something all right I, I don't know you guys are gonna learn to learn what you guys are gonna learn what are we learning cody <laughs> you gonna learn you today. learn today boy <laughs> What, what was I'm that game? Casual, I'm the most ca casual. You want to play a game? Forty fan. bucks. You want? <laughs> yeah. I we need to clip that. By the way, still want to play a game? Forty, 40 bucks. bucks. <laughs> like we yeah. need that. <laughs> Top ten. This is the Top best ten ever. So good. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not super obviously. It's like y'all, I just watch it for people stabbing each other with lightsabers. That's basically all the reason. I don't get into. For. I get that. Yeah, I don't really that's, get into the to the rest of it. I never would have known that there's apparently a an clone unless Tim just told me. Yeah, never uh, would have known that. Like it's just <laughs> it's just speculation. And I don't I don't think it's happening, but that's that's speculation right. that's out there. Yeah. Other than that, they didn't really show much. So who knows? Um. Yeah. No. I I will say like as. I'm sure Justin is the same way on this. Um, Ian, I know, is a big fan of the movie and has played a good chunk of the games, but I've played, I think I've played, if I haven't played every Star Wars game out there with the exception of the Lego games, I've played the vast majority. Um, yeah. I, I think that uh, I'm, I'm super excited about the new game that's coming out as well. Um, yes, so yes. I suppose we can tra um, transition. Let's go on and talk about Jedi Fallen Order EA. Yeah. It looks good. It looks fine. Yeah. I love the apprehensive look on your face. It as nearly you... blew my mind. The trailer really didn't do a lot for me, honestly. Like I liked seeing right. the the setting and the character and everything, but it wasn't gameplay, so it's like, eh, okay. Yeah, and it was it was basically we got to watch cutscenes from the game. That's cool. Um, I think that it look it reminds me in some ways of the Star Wars Jedi Knight series. Um, yeah, but the reason that I sound apprehensive about it is 
Like, I don't get me wrong. It's a melee-focused single-player game. That sounds like fun. It sounds like we're going to get to have a lot of lightsaber fights, uh, probably fight some Sith, maybe, or Sith-ish characters, kind of. Yeah, um, they definitely showcase that uh, Imperial with Force powers. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that that would be cool. But, I mean, I, I played the hell out of the, the Jedi Knight series. Like, going back to Dark Forces, uh, I think I, the first time I played Dark Forces was at Ian's house on the PlayStation. But like I played yes. played the hell out of it. Like I own it on Steam still. Um and I still play Dark Forces 2. That was MSN Gaming Zone days. What up, Bill? Oh my god. Like I used to participate in online tournaments. I was that little I was the squeakier nine year old, but before <laughs> games had a lot of voice integration, so nobody knew I was nine. Uh yeah. and that was always fun. Uh solo, sabers, NF, what up, tourneys, let's go. But um then Jedi Outcast came out and it was just like so good. And then Academy was freaking fantastic, but they all had multiplayer. And I think yeah. part of the appeal of that series for me was the fact that I could play lightsabers. Like I could have epic lightsaber battles with other people online. And that was it. That was all I wanted the multiplayer for. It was so fun. And that's yeah. not a thing. So I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I was really excited for Star Wars 1313. Um, mm -hmm. Was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was that, 1313, yeah. And then that got scrapped. Uh, I think we talked about that before it got scrapped. We kind of... like. I think that was when we yeah. first started the show. Mm -hmm. So that was a long time ago now. It was almost two years ago now. Uh, right. But it, 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 I still don't know why it got scrapped. Um yeah, I don't know. Development hell. What are you guys' um, thoughts yeah. on it? My thoughts are, as far as multiplayer goes, um, yeah, looking back, like, the, the Jedi games were kind of like, that was the melee game to play back then. There weren't oh, really yeah. alternatives. Um, and now we still don't see a lot. There's, like, Mountain Blade and Chivalry and Vermintide. Mordhau. Uh, Mordhau is going to be coming. That's going to be big. But it's not like a, a saturated market. Mm. Um, so I feel like even if they release the game as a single player title, I would not be shocked to see them add a multiplayer component to it in the future. We would be um, we'd be wrong to not mention that it is Respawn. So Respawn Interactive is the, the company that's also responsible for Titanfall and is responsible for um, Apex Legends. So... Yeah, cool. all their stuff seems yeah. to have multiplayer, pretty much. Uh -huh. They've been very multiplayer-focused in the past, but, I mean, the developers straight up said it's going to be single-player, so I don't know. Right, single-player and no microtransactions, they said. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, what are your thoughts on the game? Uh, I'm actually kind of excited for it, because uh, just like you were talking about earlier with the old Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy games or whatever, I really enjoyed those. And, you know, if we can get a game where you actually kind of explore, if I could get a Jedi game that's similar to Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor, and, like, the way you explore the world and stuff. Um, Gentlemen, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> right, yeah. but, like, the way you explore the world and, like, the uh for the melee at least if it was something like that and then very story driven i i think i'd really enjoy that uh yeah. <clears throat> but we'll see respawn they they've been i mean they're known for their fast combat but that art combat style or whatever is pretty popular that and would, I would be not... very fitting for a star wars game i don't think that's gonna happen but that would be amazing no. but it, it would be it would be interesting to see but i would there hasn't really been a good, even the, me and uh, Justin were talking about before we started, the Force Unleashed, I, I think it was a Force Unleashed. Yeah. Those stories weren't very good, and it, it, the games were the average. The first, the first Force Unleashed had a decent story. The second one, it kind of fell apart, but Starkiller's right. a cool character. I like yeah. that. Well, I he, like is, those ones. he is. Yeah, it was, it, he's over cool character, you know, I and forgot bringing about down those the big-ass ship. Yeah, like so. There's there's definitely a history there of of good Star Wars single player games. So yeah, I'm that excited to see that. Uh, Lucas Arts was still around. I just right. had the thought. So in uh, in um the the Force Awakens, 
the base is called Star Killer Base. Do you think that was in any way intended to be an homage to oh, yeah. Star Killer? Oh hell yeah! Probably. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even think about that until now. Like Gotta that, I never made that, that, made that connection. Dude, watching the um the live stream today for Star Wars Celebration, it was like whenever they had anyone on talking about a project, one of the people on the stage was basically like a Star Wars lore representative officer <laughs> person. Okay, well, so, like, I, I do want to touch on the state of the Star Wars lore because Disney came out before The Force Awakens and essentially said the entire expanded universe was not canon anymore, so... Right. Thanks, Disney, because <laughs> they killed Kyle Katarn. They killed the all of the books I read as a kid. They killed, uh, like, so much, so much lore that was expanded yeah stuff that was always kind of shitty i thought i really look you know what y'all y'all may hate this or whatever but pokemon does the best retcon ever with their multi-world theory just Hmm. saying i'm i'm sure they do i i we won't i won't just i can tell you but okay detail right now because it's a little lengthy yeah yeah i would say that you know star wars they before disney got them they had this like tiered system for what was canon and what wasn't so like mm-hmm. the movies are at the top and then like animated stuff down the line right becoming like less and less relevant and that kind of sucked for me personally because i read all of these like karen travis books and she just wrote about the mandalorians and their history and their culture and she did like the um uh what was the the game where you play as the clone uh troopers four of them republic commando. commando yeah yeah republic commando um she was involved with that as well and i didn't she know wrote she was involved books. with that that's cool yeah, yeah. that is cool. yeah the whole um like the vote on song that's like the intro or like the end credits song right. that's like she she made the mandalorian language and then like made the song so it was this whole thing and uh all of her shit that she was writing got just shit canned because dave filoni came and did the animated shit and was like, Mandalorians are a peaceful people. Dur, 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 dur. And uh, she was like, well, I guess I'm done writing for you guys. Bye. Yeah, pretty much. I was, I was so sad. Because yeah, she was I'm, like, she just started bad. a new series as well. I was really bummed. Hmm. Yeah. Well then. Ian? So yeah, Star Wars lore. What? Thoughts on the new Star Wars game that we've been talking about? That's a Star Wars game. I'm going to get it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right? Those are fantastic thoughts. Yeah, they're great thoughts. I'm gonna fucking play it. Did you watch Next. the trailer at all? Do you, do you, do you want me to answer that question? Quit playing your game just... I'm, Okay, I'm gonna go with no. Alright, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, well, so, what have you brought up to microtransactions? And I, I do say, we gotta touch on this, because like, this is a selling point for a single player game. Oh, we're not going to have microtransactions. All right, that's cool. I wasn't expecting them. That's fucking bullshit that you have to say that at this point. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? It's uh yeah, it's something else, really. Like, can you imagine if 10 years ago that would have been that would have been the the a selling point in the game? Like, oh, we're going to do a game that's going to not have like for example at the time like be like no DLC. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> like, that's all right what the fuck why do you have to come out and say that before the game releases i understand that they're trying to make themselves look better than but it's weird it's weird it's sad that you have to say that and that's a selling yeah. point for your game yeah micro microtransactions have gotten such a bad rap over time uh especially recently you know they try to like what was the most recent one uh fallout 76 repair kit yeah that I, one that's that a, one's really recent I'd say the the biggest example recently would have been probably Shadow of War. People shit on that game for the the loot box system in it. Um, well, techni- if we want to get technical, is Destiny Two. Destiny Two slowed down their yeah. game, and they got fucking called in hell about it. Oh, I'm sure. So, but Destiny is a multiplayer all... game, so that that one I expect microtransactions in online games because that's just because right. But it, it was it was it was the same thing that Shadow of War did where. Basically, they made your experience that you were gaining almost nothing. So oh. you'd be tempted to go get loot boxes and stuff, right. which is I, I similar to Shadow of like, War. In, but in Shadow of War, you got loot boxes from doing online sieges, which was the whole... Like, part of the reason that they put that system in 
was to make you do the sieges because there's the online and offline sieges and you got there's an right. there's an actual xp bar well by doing sieges you earn a box that right. most of the time has like four or five experience like it'll have five items in it and three of them are going to be experience boosts like i did that so many times while that system was still in place i actually even like i think i bought like a couple of crates of orcs just because right. I felt like it, just wanted to see what it was like, because everybody was talking about it. I was like, well, what the fuck? Right. And it, it, it didn't it didn't feel like it slowed the game down at all for me, but now it's now they've completely but scrapped that system. But don't you have, like, 200, 200 plus hours in that game or some shit? Uh, well, a good chunk of that is I would, like, play it at night, and I would fall asleep, and the game would still be running, <laughs> and I'd wake up in the morning and go, oh, fuck! But, like, yeah. yeah, I think I probably have actual gameplay. It's over 150 right. hours, like, but, yeah, there's, it says I have, like, 300, and it's not that much. Yo, brief aside, can games start implementing a way to track your game time that, like, discounts idling? No. I mean, I'm sure some of them I mean, do. I'm sure they can. I'm sure they could. Uh, I actually, I think if you launch Shadow of War, and, and like, and I, it'll show, like, my game time, and it doesn't show the 387 hours that steam does true i honestly if i'm being honest i wish all games time all games what? would track your game time That'd be yeah cool. me too i like those stat trackers like that yeah just because like i'm on the x i've been playing a lot of games on X recently i like outward i i'm guesstimating how many hours i've put into it but actually you know i'm surprised that's like that's the kind of game that could have all kinds of weird like trackers in it that you could review. right yeah, yeah like, uh, I, Red I think GTA, those games have all that. Right. I just think it was probably one of those things that they probably had to do, but 10 people, all that good stuff. So. Saudi, congratulations on the art show. That's awesome. I'm glad it went well. That's fantastic. Um, good job, Sonny. Yeah. Fucking art show. I'm just, look, I was over here eating cookies and taking a nap. Or... Tell you what. So, I, 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 I... I don't know, but, but like with the microtransactions thing, I guess it, it's just weird to me that that is that is the point that we're at that that like developers feel like coming out and saying, oh, our game, our single player experience game that you shouldn't expect microtransactions in isn't going to have microtransactions. That's like a way to prop yourself up to look better than other games. Like there are tons of single player games out there that don't have microtransactions. There are some that do and those that do get shit on, but like, there are there lots of them that don't, so I don't know why you have to come out and tell us that. I guess because you're working for EA, and EA wants to make themselves look better because they've had a Dude. shitty record lately, but still. Yeah, but I mean, EA like, all the Assassin's so Creed money games. With their micro transactions. What? All the Assassin's Creed so games so have. much money with their transactions. They do. That's their bread. So, so I, I think, honestly, if EA would um, just leave those microtransactions, to the sports games which is i I wouldn't want that personally but and just because that's their money maker that's where they get most of the money from fucking fifa um if they would just leave it with the sports games and then try and find other ways to recoup that money in other games it's just it's just irritating that every single game has to now be um changed to fit this micro micro transaction mold in one way or another so yeah i think a big problem is you see development uh maybe convinced to alter things from their publisher to accommodate having these microtransactions whereas if the microtransactions were just you know here's the game plus here's all this extra stuff it would really be fine yeah like uh, uh, that's one of the things with uh say fallout 76 the microtransactions, it's all for skins. Like, it's not... There's nothing substantial that you're really getting in any of those, so I don't... I, I guess that's one of the game where people are like, ah, oh, fuck these microtransactions. I'm like, ah, oh, it's meaningless, and you shouldn't... Like, it, you didn't, don't need it to play the game, so... What the fuck? Yep. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we should probably touch on... We, uh, can we get away from Bioware for fucking once? I would love to not can talk we? about Bioware this year, but that's just not going to happen every week. They're going to be in the news for something. But yeah. it's interesting to me that we're getting a new EA game, a new Star Wars game, 
uh, it's not KOTOR and BioWare's not touching it, whereas BioWare made The Old mm. Republic and BioWare made... And I get that, that uh, you know, DICE did Battlefront, but still, like, you have KOTOR as a, a, a title you can fall back on for a single-player game. You have a studio that has been struggling to rediscover its roots, and you're not having them make... You're not having them go back to the basics and make an Old Republic game... You're just letting Great, them kind dude. of flop around with Dragon Age. Um, it was like reading Jason Schreier's article. Uh, that was some of the uh, people he talked to at Bioware. They're like, yeah, we really just want to make this KOTOR game, but we haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like after Respawn made that announcement, like single player Star Wars game, they must have been crying. Just like, uh, I wish we yeah. could be doing that. Yeah, I, uh, I think you're probably right on that. I don't know. I don't think I don't know if I want to give Star Wars or uh, Bioware any IPs at this point, especially it's, since it's basically booting a new IP. You know, it's like it's not like a brand new IP because it's set in the Star Wars universe, but it is like a new series, potentially. Uh, you know, and after watching Anthem kind of come out and flop, and you hear about all this culture issues in Bioware, I don't know if I want to give thing. Yeah, point. honestly, it sounds like the Bioware magic is worn off at this point. Right. Bioware magic. But hey, maybe that's just a matter of mismanaging their team. Oh, it's 100%. That's it's 100% with this. Yeah. Fucking Bioware magic. I feel like, yeah, they definitely need to either... They've gotten so much bad publicity just recently. They're either going to fix their shit or just never make a good game again and probably close. Speaking of that, Dragon Age 4 seems to be having all of the same issues that uh, Anthem and Dragon Age Inquisition and fucking uh, Andromeda had, so that's that's a good sign. Dragon Age yeah. 4. What, what will be different this time? I feel like every Dragon Age is like a drastically different feeling game. It is. You're not wrong. So, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to play basic and i just never like made my way back to it which is part of the reason why i want to play through um yeah inquisition is kind of like it plays like kotor kind of right yeah inquisition well and, and the thing about inquisition one with is that you, it's basically made for you to be a mage you hmm. just described yeah. the entire dragon age series no, because <laughs> I, I played i played the first the first, game, the first and, game is so much easier as a mage well, yeah, I I played through it again as a mage, but my first character was like a been a uh, dual wielding, a dual axe wielding fucking warrior kind of thing. I tried to play through the first one as a human warrior. It was so fucking hard. And then my yeah. next playthrough, I did. I I've done a dwarven warrior playthrough. It was easier than the human warrior playthrough. You can tell that if you were playing a warrior, you were supposed to play a dwarf. Um, right. And if you were playing a mage, you were supposed to be either a elf or a human. I have never done like a rogue playthrough all the way through, like a, a you know all the way through. But I've done the mage playthrough multiple times because the, the warrior playthrough is a grind. The the mage right. playthrough is so fucking easy. You just you become just you just melt yeah, faces. You become, it's yeah, insane. You become a fucking tactical nuke, and well, that's what you get everybody. And with the, like when you get you know fucking later on in the game as well. Um, mm -hmm. you you get the ability to essentially make your magical damage melee damage with the arcane warrior abilities, and so all of a sudden your character that's not designed at all for melee is a fucking god in melee. It's just insane. Yeah, I've always wanted to play the Dragon Age games. You should. They're, They're fun. good games. They're dude. good games. They're really good games. In Inquisition. It's funny because uh, during it was a video that I think Cody Cody shared with the group. Um, the guy said that he was, it, it sounds like when, uh, Jason Schreier was talking to people at Bioware, they actually had, were regretting the fact that Inquisition was successful because it, it kind of reinforced what the heads at Bioware were doing. Like, oh, right. hey, yeah. we, can, we can do Bioware magic. We can, we can wait until the last minute to, to finish our fucking game and it'll turn out great and that's not at all how game development should work at all not even a little bit you should spend years working on your game not years going what the fuck are we gonna do with this hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh we got an idea like 18 months right. before launch that's not how you're supposed to do that 
Um, yeah. You're a fucking AAA studio, and we expect better from you. For yeah. you, we want you. We want we want the developers. Like nobody wants a developer's life to be hell. We don't. We want them to no. to be able to thrive and make awesome games and be successful at what they're doing because it makes the games better and it makes our enjoyment and experience of the game better so i guess yeah get your shit together maybe that's why we have such a boom of indie games now is because people are just getting burnt out from that triple a production and they're just like you know what i'm just gonna go do this I'm just gonna that's, go actually do not, that's not a bad observation no. and i do think i do think what's gonna happen with bioware is i think the new dragon age is gonna come out it's not gonna be i don't think it's gonna be a bad game but it's not for ea and they're gonna close down and then i think you see some of those old bioware studio p- people get together and make a new fucking place and come out with a new game i hope yeah maybe they'll be like uh, respawn did right could be, could be. for those who so. don't who don't know what justin's referencing the respawn team originally was uh in the call they, of duty team they, right? they worked at infinity ward on call of duty they were the core team that was responsible for Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, um, before things really got off the rails with some of the later <laughs> games. Yeah. They they had nothing to do with the shit show that was Infinite Warfare. <laughs> right. uh, Jon Snow in space. What? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Game of Thrones tomorrow. Super excited. That's an aside. Oh, hell, dude. Um, yeah. uh, y'all have fun with that. We will. Yeah, Cody has. Cody is not uh, a game or a Game of Thrones guy. Cody, I no, I'm not a. I'm not a. He likes fan the books. The show, I do like the books. Yeah, books mm-hmm. are great. I'd yeah. say the if you haven't played 2000 and I think it's 2000. I think it came out 2013 or 2011 or something like that. There's an Xbox game it originally came out on 360. It was like it came out on the 360 after like around the time that the Xbox One was coming out. Um, so it kind of died before it really had a chance to come out, but there's an, a Game of Thrones RPG that, um, it's actually pretty good, and it's available on PC now, I believe. You can get it on Steam, and it's, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Do not play the Telltale game, because, like most oh, Telltale, Telltale games, it's games. broken as hell. Mm, that's not why. Yeah. That's not why you shouldn't play it. I play all kinds of broken games. I showed Cody a, 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 a clip that, uh, I don't think I showed you, Justin, but, like, I found a bug in... We mentioned Shadow War earlier, so I should mention... I did play a little bit of Shadow War this week because I love that game. And uh, I went to Minas Morgul, and I'm, that's, like, where I go to just grind orcs. Like, if I'm just hunting orcs and I'm just doing, like, XP farming and stuff because I'm still not level 80 since they raised the cap because I only recently reinstalled it. Um, but I found a bug where I went to this one spot in Minas Morgul, and I've done it before, but I actually recorded it this time. Where just orcs will infinitely spawn sometimes. Oh yeah, I saw that clip. And, yeah. and like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's just orcs everywhere. And if you look at the mini map on it, it's just solid red triangles all over the place. I think I I, I like tried to fight them off until I died. Uh, it was insane. <laughs> it was just madness, dude. It's such a That's it's a, it, like I honestly think that it, it. I hope that it's not a bug and that it's intended as a feature. It's not. It's definitely a bug. But like, it's <laughs> such a cool thing to have because I feel like that's how you should feel in the middle of Mordor as a right. as anything. There should just be orcs everywhere trying to fuck you. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, uh, I think I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Ian's uh, It does. It sounds yeah. like a good time. I'm just saying. They should. They should. They should make a level Shadow of War that's a, basically the equivalent of Jon Snow pulling out a sword in front of that charge. All those charging horses. That, like, that I know I know you, but I thought you were gonna say they should make like a chapter of just fucking. And I'm very concerned. <laughs> let's not. Let's not do that. Yeah, that's the not what the orc made. Oh god. But yeah, it, it anyway, <laughs> back back to uh to Dragon Age. Um it sounds like this is probably BioWare's <clears throat> last shot. And we know that development's already having the same issues. But I don't know, is it let BioWare's last shot? Do we think I think that this is probably if this game flops, that's probably it for BioWare. Well, they currently still have two studios, right? Yes. So 
but it sounds it seems like uh, even though Edmonton is responsible for most of the decisions on Anthem, it seems like Houston is the the uh, studio that they want to pin it on. Yeah, there's a lot of contention like between the studios, and I don't know. I, I if it it's a matter of how bad it does, I guess, right? Like, because it could still put out mediocre sales just from the IP itself and diehard fans. So can it though? Yeah, you don't you Absolutely. don't you don't think Dragon Age fans have been paying attention to what happened with Mass Effect? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they uh, have. Well, I don't know, dude. I feel like Dragon Age has like it's been a lot weirder than Mass Effect. Like Mass Effect One, Two, and Three were the same. They were same gold. Game. pretty similar. Yeah, but going from Dragon Age the first game to the second game, that was like a huge like shift in like gameplay and stuff. I've heard. And, like, I've heard the could combat be really, different races. really crazy. Yeah, and Dragon Age too. Um, yeah, it's closer. It's to be more it, action oriented. It's way, more action it's way closer to what you get in Inquisition than it is what you got in the first game. Um, the first mm -hmm. game, because in the first game, it's almost like, in a lot of ways, it's it's kind of like um, Baldur's Gate almost. Like in that you yeah. can pause it, yeah. you can give orders to your guys from kind of a top down view. I didn't know you could. The first time I played through it, I played on Xbox. I didn't know you could pause it. So when I actually beat it, like, which is probably why I had such a hard time on my Warrior playthrough, I didn't know you could pause the combat. Um, oh, yeah. But then I, I found that out when I played it on PC. I was like, oh my God, this is such a different game now <laughs> than trying to yeah, manage it, becomes, it all in real time. Yeah, it becomes way more tactical kind of thing. It really once does. You, once you start pausing it. So. Glasses. Uh, all right, we got anything else, boys? Um, is that our show? I don't know. Is it? That's all I got. Man. I, there oh was. It wasn't the super news-heavy week, other than the Star Wars stuff this week. Um, there wasn't That's a, true. a whole we did lot. That a lot of Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, there, there was. It's really that was the, the biggest things that that dropped were Star Wars related. I'm, I'm excited for the new game. I'm excited for the new movie. I just don't think I'm hey, as excited I'm for them as I have been in the past. You're just excited to be here. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see how the game is. It'll be fun to play uh, a story driven game that's not about you being a murder dad. Because we've had a lot of those. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't I'm know. excited to go see Hellboy tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you really? What? Yes, I am. Fuck I've the heard... reviews. I understand that they're putting four stories in one, but I'm so excited. I've heard nothing but bad things about this one. I know. I saw I the trailer and I was like, I don't, I don't want to go see it. As soon as, I, as soon as I heard it wasn't Ron Perlman, I go, oh, this seems oh, like boy. a mistake. And then it's, it's released, and it seems like that's kind of the consensus. Oof. Um, Ian, you'll have to tell us how it is. Yeah. I know. It just, it looks like action packed. It's a hard R. I'm excited. I mean, a lot yeah, of creatures it, in the trailer. And, and I do have to say, fuck reviews. You don't have to go by what the reviews say. Like Man of Steel is a is a movie that. Oh, it was funny because when reviews first started happening for it, critics kind of loved it, and then it came out, and then more critics hated it, and then everybody else hated it. I like Man of Steel. Well, I thought it was a Superman, good movie. Superman, so it sucked anyway. Fuck I've off. never seen it, but I like Zack Snyder's movies, so... I, I liked it. It was okay. Like, it, for a Superman origin story, which you have seen a million times, it was well done, Um, but... Yeah, have you it, seen the trailer for Brightburn? I don't know what that is. No. It's if Superman was a bad guy or as a kid, like if he ended up being a bad. So it's Red Sun? Yeah. <laughs> I know. The, like, it's the Red nah. Sun storyline. Nah. Yeah. Pretty Fuck it. Oh, the. Oh. I, 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 where did my brain go? It's gone. I don't know. It's Some, still sleeping. Somebody yeah. else talk. I broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to point out my favorite Star Wars game ever probably was um, Shadows of the Empire on the N64 where you oh, played wow. as Dash Rendar who is definitely not Han Solo. Dash Rendar. He's 100% <laughs> not. No, Dash is in no way Han. He's Han. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot about Dash Rendar. There's a, oh, yeah. a throwback for you. No, yeah, dude. M my favorite Star Wars game was definitely... Well... No, I have to go with Jedi Outcast. Jedi Academy was good, and it kind of improved on some of the systems in Outcast, but Academy was... 
I felt like Academy had the weaker story of the two. Like, hunting down Dasan and Outcast was so fun. I don't know how many of you actually played through the campaign. So, hmm. no. I think I, I played though, way I more multiplayer it. of that game than I ever did. That's fair. So, yeah, Outcast was probably it. Although I could go with, with Dark Forces 2 because MSN Gaming Zone was the shit, oh even though it was God. awful. Oh, you know what we should Shout talk about MSN. that I forgot to... Uh, that's a... A, a transition into a topic that I forgot to put into the uh, the set list for today. We'll call it. Uh, so no, so Sony no. has announced that you're going to now be able to change your uh, your your name, your P- your oh, PlayStation yeah. name, uh, yeah! which has been a thing people have been asking for for a long time. They're doing it kind of in the same way that Microsoft does it. You get the one free change, and then after that, it's like ten dollars. Yeah. Um, which I always thought was weird because as somebody yeah. who played on MSN Gaming Zone, I could change my username whenever I wanted to on PC. And Steam, yeah, just not like a problem. Steam, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can on like Battle.net or whatever um, for Blizzard. I think that's a charge. Yeah, I always thought that's such a weird thing to me. Like, yeah, I don't get that. I don't. It's I, just a variable, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and the thing that that fucks me up about it is like so. On Xbox, if you change your name, it's not going to affect your games at all. It's not going to affect your saves. It's not going to affect how your account interacts with the cloud. Same on Steam. You can change your username whenever the fuck you want, and it affects in no way your games. But apparently, with PlayStation, it affects your saves. Like, they've come out and straight up said, well, I think I have a theory for that. Some games. For some games, yeah. I have a theory for that, that I have no confirmation. um, Like, I have no way of confirming this or not, but, like... So on Xbox and on Steam and for most games, you have your, uh, you have basically an ID tag, right? That that shows up. It's an underlying tag that's not attached to yeah, your I mean, player yeah. name. Your name is a superficial shh, thing. It's a, shh, it's, a it's a damn um, it's a it's a screen name. It just shows up on top of your ID tag. But yeah. I think. In PlayStation's case, they might not have an underlying tag. It might attach all of your saves to the actual account name, which would explain why, especially with cloud-based games for saves and stuff, why it would fuck that up. But that's yeah. weird to me that that they would have that in place like that instead of having... the Because I, I think... I know Battle.net does it. I think Discord does it. Like, most... Things oh, yeah. ha- it give you an ID tag that goes underneath your your actual name, and then your name just changes on top of that. So that's yeah. It, I was reading about this a little bit, and I think that that has to be the case because I was I was like, how how are some games affected, but not all of them? And they talked about how uh, way back when they started the PlayStation Online service, it was back on uh, PS2, I guess, and they must have just not had people who were as experienced as uh, whoever was working on, you know. The Xbox, Microsoft knows online gaming already. Um, so whoever engineered their shit must have just thought, oh, we'll just tie it to their usernames and it'll be fine. No big deal. <laughs> well, you, guys know, know. you guys know I don't play why I don't play Final Fantasy games, right? No. Because fucking Final Fantasy 7, I think it was 7. Um, German, guy, goddamn big sword. Car, German. What? What? Something I heard yeah. something about German. That's all I heard. I said uh Final Fantasy, I wanna say seven. Um turn my memory card German. Oh, you did tell me about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and I had to go on goddamn dial up internet and figure out what the fuck was wrong with my goddamn I had to decipher That's it. That's hilarious. You pulled a you, you pulled a me, you broke it. Hella. I did, and I don't even understand how it happened. No one understands how that happened. No, they don't. Dude. Yeah, that was that was Sarah. She, I, I don't know why she gave me bunny ears. Except for <laughs> for somebody who hates coming on or who hates being on camera when I'm podcasting to like sneak up behind me like that. I don't think she thought we were live. Maybe. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Don't tell her. Like, I'll have the screen down all the time, and she'll, like, hide behind it and talk to me. She won't walk in front of it. And then she just got done working out, and she just, like, walks behind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, whatever. Whatever works. It's, but, it, isn't it nice having a home of some sort? She, we don't have a... Well, she's not using any of my home gym setup. 
I have a treadmill at my house now. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were just saying, isn't it nice to have a home? I was going to say, <laughs> isn't it nice to be a home? home gym. Uh, I home, mean, home gym, yes, not home Tim. It's, isn't it, I didn't, it's nice to not be homeless. <laughs> I don't. Uh, was that a question? I don't. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I, I do want to say a uh, shout out to the UNB Bulldogs, two in a row. Yeah, uh, baby. They, they, uh, if. For those who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, UMD, uh, I watched the game on stream last week. Uh, they uh, they won their second national championship in a row. It was their third consecutive NCAA hockey championship appearance, and they have now won two in a row. They've won three since 2011. They're kicking ass and taking names and go dogs. New Patriots. Dogs. Bow, wow, wow. Also, uh, fuck the Gophers. I'm just saying. Fuck the golfers. Yes. Cause I from Minnesota man. Okay, I'm from Duluth and I grew up hating the gophers because every time the gophers would come up I'd get a bunch of shit talking golfer fans that would sit right behind me. And I was I'm like six year old me just trying to root for the Bulldogs and I'd have this drunk dude behind me tap on my shoulder, go, Hey, your favorite team sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that sir, you real. suck. Fuck off. Uh, you know, of course in of course they're drunk as shit. Well, and it was oh, yeah. it was when that's that's the '90s when the Gophers were the dominant team in college hockey, and so they were like all smug and arrogant. And now it's like, ha, fuck you. Now you know that 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 program is in tatters, and right. the uh, the Bulldogs are on top for now. The future is now. we're for now, but you know Look, it, you gotta enjoy this is it always temporary. It. Yeah, it's always temporary. You know, you that's, gotta enjoy you unless you're it. a fucking New England Patriots fan and you. Span a dynasty of twenty years almost. Years, yeah, yeah. Not it's it's like eighteen years, Cody. Of uh, division championships, yeah. No, I'm just talking like their Super Bowl era is going back oh, to yeah. two thousand and and what two thousand one, two thousand. Two thousand two. I think it's two thousand and two. They beat, well, they, beat that, the this... they beat the Rams. They beat the Rams. With Kurt Warner, after Kurt Warner won his first one in, in what? Okay, now we're really getting right? off topic. We are, <laughs> we are, but we're we're going back almost twenty years. Like that's two thousand. Yeah, it's it's a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna play some Rocket League tonight? Are we? Yes, yeah, sir. Tonight? Ooh. Yeah. So we got four. I'm, I'm... Uh, what happened to Shane? Did he die? Oh yeah, he's always dead. Mister, I'm he's for fishing. sure. I'm for sure I mean, on. In my heart, anyway. Is he fishing? He's not fishing right now. Yeah, well, maybe not tomorrow morning. Yeah, he might be sleeping. Is it the opener? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize it was the opener. <laughs> oh, what the fuck I was that? Was saying he's <laughs> gonna hit the streams and I, I, I had to actually confused. do something. I was like, so you're gonna be on the show? <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Ben? We we told Ben he's on the Saturday because Ben was sad. He's like, thanks for the invite. I was like, okay. Right, oh, he always wants to play. Let's get him in. Does he? Well, I mean, he says he does. I was supposed to go over to his house a couple days ago. Is he still Maybe living? It was at, last week. Is he? He still lives at Chains, right? Uh, still living together? No. No, he moved I out. No, he lives in the other apartment downstairs. Oh, did he? That's cool. I think so. Yeah. Good for him. Should we wrap the pod? Uh, yeah, I think we should yeah. Wrap. Closing thoughts. <laughs> Yeah. Closing thoughts. Uh, Dragon Age 3 was the most successful launch in Bioware history based on units sold. So mm. It sold more than Mass Effect. Okay, that's cool. What that? I didn't know that. Anybody else got a closing thought? <laughs> Smash that help button. God. Smash it. <laughs> okay. what, what, what did Justin mispronounce last week? Monetize. 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 <laughs> Monetize. Monetize. <laughs> Have you always said it that way <laughs> until we were like, that's weird? You'll yeah. never know. That's just like the <laughs> I way I write my S's. Everyone thinks it's really weird. And uh, now I have to see how you write your S's. I just I do it from the bottom to the top. Yep, yep, nope, that's weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 I like try I tried to do it just now, like S nope. Uh, yeah, lost me. Yo, Ace Man, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it, dude.
Are we getting raided at the Oh, end? Seek and Destroy oh, with the raid. Why didn't the uh, raid alert pop up? Yo, yeah. Seek and Destroy. What up, dude? You need to upgrade your alarms, buddy. I apparently you do need to uh, mess with that because there was no alert on that, and there should have been. Good job, Tim. Um, yeah, we're gonna... broke it again. It's not my fault, all right? It's kind of... It's probably your fault. It's, it's all your fault, okay? It's definitely... <laughs>